what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today the z is in the air and we are installing the z1 motorsports rear sway bar pumped might be my famous last words but should be a relatively simple installation looking forward to doing it we're just doing the rear sway bar and we have the z1 motorsports rear sway bar bracket kit and some grease uh, I don't have the sway bar end links. I, I had a lead on some slightly used ones that I was going to grab up for a good deal, but I think I missed my opportunity. So we're just going with the factory end links right now. No big deal. Uh, it should be fine unless we break one. Well, let's pull the sway bar out now. See what it looks like. Okay, damn, they have that thing wrapped up well. But she looks good. Nice and red. Two points of adjustment on the Z1 sway bar. Really substantial, much more substantial than the factory one. You'll, you'll see that when we pull it out. Uh, not too super heavy. Dustfully sounds hollow. Not a solid piece of metal that helps keep weight down. Uh, but it is robust, so it should be pretty rigid. Uh, looking forward to getting this one in. First thing we got to do, I think I was going to try to do this without taking the exhaust off. But I don't know that that's going to be possible. So let's just keep it simple on ourselves. Take the Tome off. One thing about the Tome is, is that it is pretty easy to take off. 12 millimeter nuts to loosen the clamp and one 12 millimeter nut up here to uh, take the bracket off. And then just a couple of springs that hold everything tight one on each side springs are easier to get off than to put back on my bracket is loose The exhaust is out and look at how scrawny this sway bar is. Little tiny sway bar. I think we can get to it. I might have to take these little plastic shields off just to get the bracket in there. Yeah, definitely gonna have to. Okay. All right, those are all eights and that exposes the sway bar brackets. And let me see those look like. These are all 14s and then the uh, end links right here. These are 14s as well. The link bolts are a little seized, so we're just taking the bracket off from the top. Just take a gander at the difference. It's like twice the thickness. Um, so, had an issue, just a slight issue breaking the end link nuts loose. Might be my famous last words, but should be a relatively simple installation. This one got a little rounded off, unfortunately. This one right here. That looks like I'm not gonna be able to get away with using this one. This is all jacked up. So we're just gonna go ahead and move forward. We're gonna get the sway bar mounted and I'll just have to order some new and links. I needed new ones anyways. I, it was stupid to try to get away without using, without ordering new ones. This one came off no problem, but you know, obviously they're, they're old. So uh, we're gonna get some adjustable ones. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll get these all set up. I got some grease for these bushings uh, that we'll, we'll fill them in and then slide these on the, on the uh, sway bars here on the outside edge. We just got some lithium based grease for these. Oh, beautiful. Just pop these out. I'm just going to kind of fill in here. These do have the Zerk fittings, uh, so you can use a grease gun to fill them up later on. crazy you gotta get but I don't think it takes a whole lot to be honest Ugh. 
bit of fall. Gotta clean her up a little bit, we're good to go. Well, the red looks right at home under here. Think. I just need the darn end links now. Ah, nothing can ever just go smooth. I dealt some end links. Luckily, I had a couple nuts to go on them. They're a little bit crusty, but they're actually in good shape. The uh, everything, the rubber and everything is nice and soft still and flexible. No, no tears, nothing weird. It's a little bit of corrosion on some of these, but otherwise, I just lubed them up a little bit. We're gonna install them. stiffest setting softer setting both pretty stiff but we're going inside because we just send it there we go the z1 motorsports rear sway bar and the 350c is finally installed we got some white line and links, um, but there's probably a little bit of adjustment in here that we need to do just to tweak it to dial it in. Uh, we'll probably do that for a different video. Um, just since today was just trying to get this dang thing installed and frankly, I gotta get it down and out of the garage because I gotta get the Q50 ready for the infinity meet tomorrow. For right now, we need to get out and test this sway bar. I can't actually even believe this. It felt really nimble before, but it's a huge difference after installing the Z1 Motorsports rear sway bar. And I gotta say too, the white line adjustable end links. Oh, wow. I expected a little bit of a difference, but this car feels so tight now. And I, actually, a lot of people have complained about how tight the steering is in these 350Zs, but I love it. I, this is exactly what I look for in a kind of a sporty track inspired car is a tight steering wheel. And uh, this car feels great. I, I can only imagine how good it's gonna feel uh, when I install the front sway bar. Uh, but the front sway bars in these Zs is actually pretty substantial already, so I'm not sure if it'd be a massive difference, but the rear, so far, woo. Guys, at how much the car changed you know, after installing the Hotchkiss sway bars on the Q50. But my expectations were a little bit lower with the Z, just because it's a smaller, more nimble platform just in general. I gotta say, it's a, it feels like a totally different car, just doing a little bit of weaving here within the road. So I'm really excited to get up to the mountains and test this car out now. If we have the suspension more uh, more dialed in a little bit further, uh, we got the ride height just about right, the dampening setting is correct, uh, control arms have been replaced, we get the brakes installed, we get the track alignment done on this thing. Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Charlotte for an infinity meet in less than an hour, so. Um, you know, 
I don't have time to do a full review right now. I just kind of wanted to get my initial impressions. Gas station run, so I just grabbed the camera. I wanted to get my real first initial reaction to the sway bar being installed. So just doing a little bit of weaving back and forth. I can feel how tight and nimble this thing is. Important, but very simple step is adjusting the preloader pretension on the uh, adjustable end links. It's an, it is an important step uh, to get it right, but it's very simple, like I said. So stay tuned for a very short video on doing that. Uh, I didn't include it in on this uh, because the car was up on stands and I, it was late. So I just wanted to get it uh, get it done and taken care of. Um, but I'll go through that process uh, in, a, in an upcoming clip, maybe. Knocked it out of the park on this one. I have adjusted to the stiffest setting. I imagine even the lighter setting will be still good. Very simple installation. Aside from, round, aside from rounding off a couple of nuts, my suggestion would be if you're doing this sway bar, get aftermarket end links as well. Those factory ones can get corroded. Uh, and the nuts just seem soft. So if you're using any power tools whatsoever, actually, shit, I tried with a, uh, I tried with a socket wrench at first, and it started to spin on them. So the chances that you round one off, pretty high. Brackets are excellent. They look really good. The sway bar itself looks really good under the car. Uh, of course, initial impression, definitely functional. Sway bar options out on the market for this particular platform, but of course, Z1 tried and true and tested, and they're always putting out good products and always supporting the community. So I I'm super pumped and super thankful to be in partnership with them for this 350Z project and excited that Another successful installation has been completed. Much more parts to get installed for the Z. We got more stuff coming up for the Q50. It's driving season, people, so stick around. If your concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get to every single one of them. What's up if you don't mind, and please subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Super excited. Thank you guys for the continued support. I appreciate it more than you can even imagine. Thanks for watching, as always, and we'll see you in the next one.